We'll remind you as the day gets closer so you can stock up on snacks and beverages, but a comet is coming. A big and brilliant comet arriving in November 2013. It could potentially be 15 times brighter than the moon and visible in broad daylight over the U.S. We will be your Comet Network and we'll keep you updated. And we start with some breaking news this hour. People in the Urals in Russia have seen burning objects raining down from the sky after a meteorite exploded about the Earth, causing a meteor shout. Now, this has caused widespread panic in at least three cities. The world is closely watching another meteor that's supposed to graze past the Earth later on this evening. That's the size of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. This is an unrelated incident. It's certainly been a strange 24 hours for things coming at us from space. The giant asteroid that came close to Earth, the meteor that exploded in Russia, and now tonight's breaking news, a meteor streaking across the Bay Area sky. If you detected uh, even a small one, uh, like the one that uh, detonated in, in, in Russia, uh, headed for New York City in three weeks, what would we do? The answer to you is if it's coming in three weeks, uh, pray. And this is what the sky has been doing for the last half hour. It's non-stop lightning with no thunder. I have never seen this before in my life. Just hours after the Pope announced his surprise resignation, the heavens over Rome opened and the top of St. Peter's Basilica was struck by lightning. Nature putting on a fiery show like you've never seen before. I know I've never seen this before. A team of photographers capturing an incredible display in eastern Russia. Four volcanoes they found were erupting at the same time. But this, nobody's ever seen anything like this. Four different volcanoes. Four completely separate eruptions happening at the same time, unprecedented. In the area around Mexico City is on a volcanic alert this morning. The government is sending soldiers and police to the region. They have blocked off a seven square mile area. Four German climbers and their Filipino guide have been killed during an eruption of one of the Philippines' most active volcanoes. uptick in seismic activity, not only earthquakes, but volcano eruptions worldwide. Now that's unprecedented. That's never happened in human history. 87 dormant volcanoes have just started waking up since February 2012. The heat wave, which has struck southeastern Australia, has already broken a number of weather records. The longest hot spell since records began. The new highest average national temperature. And in an unprecedented move, the Bureau has actually increased the temperature scale on its maps to cope with its higher temperature forecast. Australia's record-breaking heat wave is continuing to fuel outbreaks of wildfires across scores of thousands of hectares in the southeast of the country. We want to show you how big this system looks from space. Look at the tops of these clouds. Again, this is not one, but two storms joining together. This snowstorm paralyzed some of the most heavily populated areas of this country. It was a record breaker. The governor here has already declared a state of emergency. And to give you a sense of the power of this storm, the winds were as strong as a Category 1 hurricane with gusts up to 83 miles an hour. It was the fifth largest snowfall on record in weather history. As many people are waking up to scenes like these, this is likely to be the coldest March in 50 years.
There's something fishy in Rio. Dead fish are washing up on the shores of Rio de Janeiro's main lagoon, and no one is quite sure why. Fisheries experts are investigating what caused the death of thousands of fish on the Air Peninsula. The juvenile leather jackets have washed up along a 10-kilometre stretch of beaches. Absolutely incredible. I've never seen a fish kill like it in, in all the time travelling around the country. A discovery off the coast of Chile that has baffled authorities. Thousands of langoustines washed up in central Concepcion province. Beaches have been covered red. Investigators are trying to find out what has killed so many crustaceans. An unusual tornado and hailstorm has killed 24 people in southern China's Guangdong province. Local officials say 272 people were injured, with 158 of them hospitalized. The wild combination of thunderstorm, hail, and a tornado hit the region with gusting winds of 110 miles an hour. This was the strongest tornado to hit the city since record-keeping began. At least 80 people were injured too critically as a series of devastating tornadoes ripped across two states. Along the border, several twisters touched down after 7 o'clock last night. Whoa! Destruction covers a 40-kilometre stretch of southern New South Wales and northern Victoria. Nearly half the country is suffering with a brutal mixed bag. Snow, sleet, hail and severe whipping winds. Definitely one of the worst hail storms I have ever seen. That cloud back there, you see them coming. But folks that don't believe that the Bible is real, the Bible don't lie. A locust invasion of biblical proportions has descended upon Israel after millions of the insects flew in from Egypt, darkening skies and threatening to destroy crops. The report out of Florida tonight is a reminder to millions of Americans there is a strange and dangerous vulnerability underground, sinkholes. A man was in his bedroom. The earth opened up beneath the house and he fell in. At five o'clock, fears that a San Francisco neighborhood could collapse. Right now, multiple sinkholes are creating a very dangerous situation. Well, this massive sinkhole nearly killed a golfer right in the middle of the fairway in Waterloo, Illinois. Mark Mahal was on the 14th hole at the Ann Briar Golf Course when the earth just opened up beneath his feet. 25-year-old security guard named by the paper as Yan Xibing was swallowed by a 16-foot wide, 32-foot deep sinkhole. He disappeared into the pit when it suddenly opened up as he was walking along. It's a breaking news tonight, a flash of light that experts are saying was probably a meteor was seen streaking across the sky along the east coast. There more reports are coming in tonight. It happened just after 8 o'clock. There are at least 350 reports of this possible meteor. Dramatic upheaval in the earth today on a small island off the coast of Washington state. Residents say it began with a mysterious sound, almost like thunder, and then something terrifying. The earth seemed to crack open. A rare comet makes its debut in the northern hemisphere.